Welcome to the Electric Violin Diaries. In this week's episode of Catch Caitlin, 60 Second Sideshow shares my very chilled past week in Cape Town with you, as well as a rad gig I had on Saturday. Showtime will tell you a bit about the super hot performer you'll be seeing in the V is for Velvet finale. And in Dear Diary, I introduce my violin collection to you. I had a mega chilled week in Cape Town, which consisted mostly of admin and meetings. Both of the above would have made exceptionally boring videos. So here's what I did do that you might be a little bit more interested in. 60 second sideshow. Ah, Cape Town. Okay, so I worked on an all new original track with electronic dance music producer Vaughn. You'll have to wait to hear it in the finale though. Then remember that awesome show I did in episode 2 of Catch Caitlin with all the tweets? Well, it was Cape Town's turn to host the Kings and Queens of Comedy, and after the last one, I couldn't wait to get on stage. Lights, music, crowd, showtime. Too hot to handle, smoking hot, blazing, you get the idea. You're about to cyber meet the next performer on the lineup for the Beers for Velvet finale. It's three weeks until showtime. Meet JP. JP runs a group called Fire Tribe, made up of a range of peeps from doctors, scientists, school teachers, engineers to students who all get together to dance with fire and just have a good time. JP says he was always fascinated by fire and first saw fire dancing on travels to Europe and New Zealand, but the idea of performing in front of a crowd didn't appeal to him being quite a shy guy until he gave it a go on a Cape Town beach gathering. He's been performing fire acts for 12 years now and Fire Tribe is also the leading supplier of performance fire equipment in South Africa. JP is truly one of the most amazing performers I've ever seen. He just has such a vibe on stage and I can't wait for you to see him perform in the Vias for Velvet finale. Check out the Fire Tribe's website and their Facebook page too. Okay, so I'll try not to give you too much of a history lesson this week. Remember to send in your questions to Dear Diary at electricviolindiaries.com. This week's question came from Teresa, who asked, What is the name of your violin? Mine is called Dante. I love the name Dante, by the way. Instant rock star status. I have seven violins, not including my very first half-size violin, which my parents still have in Zambia and is loaned to aspiring violinists every now and then. I haven't actually named all of my violins, but I'll introduce them to you anyway. Okay, so this is my acoustic violin. I literally haven't played her in seven years now, and I've never named her but she is still very special to me because my grand gave it to me when I wanted to learn how to play violin. If you wiki electric violins, you'll see Fender made a few in the 50s and a first generation Fender was actually my first electric violin. My Fender is still in Zambia with my parents who actually bought it for me as a Christmas present about nine months after I started playing violin. Along came Lestat. My first really good electric violin, a Yamaha SV200, named after the rock star vampire in Queen of the Damned. Lestat is in Johannesburg at the moment and couldn't be here today. I got this one at the same time as Lestat, but we don't hang out so much and um, I've never named her. Buzz, also a Yamaha, a pearl white SV200 that's also in Johannesburg and couldn't be here today. Buzz was another Christmas present from my awesome parents. No, he doesn't buzz. It was more of a Buzz Lightyear reference to being my new favorite toy at the time. I really do love the Yamaha SV200s for a number of reasons. And so for my 21st birthday, my parents got me another one. This time a gold sparkle SV200 named Vera Lynn, or Vera for short. Also currently in Johannesburg having a bit of time off. And the newest addition to the family, just this year I decided I wanted something a little more rock and roll, a little more exotic. 
So this is a wood five string Viper named Diabla. All of my electric violins, except for the Fender, were bought from the electric violin shop, an amazing one-stop electric strings shop, which I'd highly recommend checking out. If you are already electric, you probably know about it, but if you're thinking about going electric, then definitely give the website a look. Just because there seems to be quite the rock star theme going on in this episode, the rock star Chippy this week, courtesy of Dustin R. Remember to check him out on his DeviantArt and there are posters available in the shop. That's all on this week's episode of Catch Caitlin. Remember to check out the website for everything mentioned in this show. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, join me on Twitter, Facebook and see you next Monday.